And a laid back ain't much an old country boy like me can't hack. It's early to rise, early in the sack. I thank God I'm a country boy. Welcome back to Rocky Knob Farm and our YouTube channel. Today we're mixing feed. It's a little bit chilly out, so we're only going to mix about 100 to 150 pounds. And stay tuned. <laughs> Here we're using that John Deere 10A hammer mill. They started making them in 1939. After you throw the ear of corn in the mill, it comes out on the other end and this is what it looks like. Tanner, here he is throwing the corn in, and you can pretty well keep up by just throwing it instead of shoveling it in. The old hammer mill does a pretty good job for its age. They sure don't make equipment like they used to. What do we grind about 10 minutes? We right at 150 pounds, uh, mixing a little bit of sweet feed and uh, mixing a little bit of soy meal as we go, bring the protein up. We're gonna see which way is cheaper, buying it or making it. I'm pretty sure making it. So we ground about 150 pound of corn and we're mixing it with this 47% protein, which is just soy meal. It's real fine, and we're just mixing it in as we go, as we're mixing the corn. And we're mixing some molasses, which ain't very high in protein, but we're putting it in for taste to make it more attractive for the hogs. I always feed my hog feed wet. A lot of people feed it dry. It's just whatever you prefer.
They seem to be eating it pretty good. We come down to check on our neighbors, Howard McCag and Jill. Uh, they got a new baby calf. Howard, tell us how you found that calf. Well, actually, I was going over to burn brush piles, and I, I looked down there, and all the cattle was around her trying to keep her from her baby. And so I knew it was something, and I seen that, that it was running around down there trying to get away from it. And she butting them other cows, them heifers, yeah. to get away from it. Well, most kids don't get to see much agriculture nowadays, and we're trying to get the interest up and get them back involved. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about your name of your farm, how it got its name. Oh. Well, it's called Moonlight Acres. Me and my wife, when we bought this place 47 years ago. We both moonlighted from our normal jobs. And so we called it Moonlight Acres because it was always working in the moonlight. Well, you have to work a day job uh, a lot of times to, to afford, farm, don't to you? afford it, yeah. Well, and the beauty of it now is, is that I'm carrying on the tradition and also moonlighting for my job as a general <laughs> surgeon <laughs> and part-time cattle wrestler. Well, <laughs> Jill, what do you think the most important thing for a child learning growing up on a farm or being involved in farming? What do you think they learn? I think it teaches them great responsibility. Um, it teaches them some structure and stability because certainly if you have animals you've got to be here well that's funny that you said that because tanner said that when we asked him yeah. responsibility yeah. it's a lot of responsibility yeah. and, and days like this if you don't want to get out and you don't want to do much you got to do what you got to do you, do it you anyway. a good hard work and we used to this time of year we was birthing pigs in this side of the barn over here in the burning crates and she'd be down here all night long <laughs> me too birthing pigs well we thank you Oh, it's okay. Anytime. You're welcome. Anytime video or baby. Here's the new baby calf. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.